So, you don't have a Swiss passport, but would like to buy a Swiss property? It's not as easy as it sounds. If that is what you're interested in, then stay tuned, because in today's episode of How to Real Estate, we talk about who is allowed to purchase real estate in Switzerland and in what form. Do you know this gentleman? If not, it's not the end of the world. But he is the former federal councillor, Arnold Koller. There's a law named after him that is well known in Swiss real estate circles, the Lex Koller law. The term Lex Koller is an informal designation of the Swiss federal law on the acquisition of real estate by persons abroad. And it regulates the extent to which foreign persons may acquire real estate in Switzerland. The purpose of the Lex Koller is to prevent the over-foreignization of the Swiss real estate market. It successfully prevents rich foreigners from buying residential buildings purely as a financial investment and thereby driving up the prices of scarce living space even more. If the Lex Collar would not exist, the number of foreign players in the Swiss real estate market would be many times higher. The law also prevents shocks that would arise in the Swiss real estate market if foreign investors suddenly withdrew their money as a reaction. So, does this mean that foreigners cannot buy real estate in Switzerland under any circumstance? No, it's not quite that radical. And what about Swiss citizens who live abroad? And does all this apply to all forms of real estate? Let's slow down and look at all of this in detail. Let us first look at what form of real estate the Lex Collar affects. It explicitly restricts the acquisition of residential real estate which are single-family homes, two-family homes, apartment buildings, condominiums, etc. It does not, however, restrict the acquisition of commercial real estate and the acquisition of holiday homes. The latter can be acquired by foreign persons in tourist regions predefined by the specific cantons. Investing in real estate funds and listed real estate companies is also not affected by the Lex Collar. So, what is the situation for people without a Swiss passport? Well, unless you have a Swiss passport and are also living in Switzerland with a valid permit, the Lex Collar clearly defines you cannot acquire residential property in Switzerland, neither to live in yourself nor to rent out. The situation is different though if you have a residence permit. Citizens of EU and EFTA countries with a B and C residence permit are treated the same as Swiss citizens. Non-EU and EFTA citizens need a C residence permit to make an unrestricted purchase. At the same time though, these persons must be able to prove that their day-to-day -day life is in Switzerland. If you are a Swiss citizen though, you don't have to worry about the Lex Collar because no matter whether you live in Switzerland or enjoy the sun on an exotic beach somewhere, you can purchase Swiss residential property at any time. So to summarize, you can buy residential property in Switzerland under the following conditions. Firstly, you have a Swiss passport. Secondly, you're an EU or EFTA citizen and have a B or C residence permit with your day-to-day -day activities in Switzerland. Or thirdly, you are not an EU or EFTA citizen, but you have a C residence permit and your life is in Switzerland. Now, if you do not meet any of these conditions, then the following options remain. The acquisition of commercial real estate, the participation in funds or in real estate companies focused around Swiss residential properties, or the purchase of holiday homes provided they are located in a tourist resort and the quota there has not been used up yet. The Lex Collar has been subject of heated debates over the years. In 2007, all major parties were in favor of abolishing the law without replacement. And then since 2012, there have been several efforts to reinforce the law. In March 2020, the National Council voted to extend the Lex Collar to commercial properties for two years in order to prevent the sale of business premises of the stressed Swiss companies to foreign investors because of, well, the obvious. The Lex Collar is a decisive factor for real estate buyers and sellers. Foreign buyers and sellers could go through an arduous process just to find out it's not possible. 
As a real estate seller, you should always be aware of the citizenship and residence situation of your prospective buyers. This is the only way you can avoid big empty processes right from the get-go. As always, you can find a blog article on the Lex Collar and everything that needs to be considered in this regard in our blog. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi! Falls Sie unsere Videos mögen, würden wir uns freuen, wenn Sie hier klicken, um unseren Kanal zu abonnieren. Damit helfen Sie uns sehr, dieses Format weiterzuentwickeln und auch in Zukunft regelmäßig Videos zu publizieren. Wie beispielsweise diesen hier oder diesen hier. Danke für Ihr Interesse und bis bald!